Mr. Isaac, uh, I want to ask you about the Permian basis because domestic mm -hmm. air uh, emissions, including ground level ozone, have fallen significantly over the past few decades, meaning our country has much cleaner air. But that has not stopped this administration from moving forward with plans to redesignate your area, uh, the Permian uh, basis, as being in non containment with the ozone standard. How would a finding of non attainment with the ozone standard impact what goes on in the Permian basis, and how do you interpret that? their interpretation well and their interpretation is wrong that the the epa non-attainment areas should be based on vehicular traffic and they're looking at remote areas where there is no vehicular traffic uh, and you're looking at one of the largest areas of production for oil and gas in this country and so it would be absolutely catastrophic to put epa in non-attainment that's why our governor governor abbott has come out full throttled against this uh, and will work diligently to make sure that this is not implemented over the permian basin whether it's texas or new mexico but that energy that we are producing is is really providing the fuel for this country and the rest of the world. And quite honestly, we need to be increasing production. We need to get the financial uh, industry off of the backs of the oil and gas companies and the fossil fuel producers in this country. We need to get them to quit discriminating against responsible American energy producers. We need to get the government to get out of the way and get off the backs of these responsible energy producers so that we can be helping people that are facing troubles in Sri Lanka and Germany and France and the Netherlands and Ghana and South Africa that are just being crushed by energy poverty because they've adopted these policies to decarbonize uh, their, their governments, their countries, which do, does nothing to improve the environment, but does everything to increase the cost of energy. So it's just another assault on the oil and gas industry. Thank you. I'm curious to know, does China monitor their mercury emissions? Does any, Mr. Eklund, do you know? Uh, no, I don't know, but I would be surprised if they do. Yeah, you know. I, I do know they have the pollution control technology. They just don't utilize it. And I, I have often said that there are, of all the technology the Chinese steal from us, it would be nice if they would utilize our pollution control technology. They don't. We're world leaders in clean air. And that impacts, as I said in our testimony, over 80% of the mercury deposits in the U.S. today come from foreign sources. And over half of that is from Asia. Thank you. Do we have higher standards than, say, Russia, Saudi Arabia, you know, Venezuela, Iran, where the president's going around begging for more oil production. Do we? And isn't that mat shouldn't that matter? Absolutely, Senator. The National Energy Technology Lab issued a report. <clears throat> you could take natural gas produced in this country, you, you explore it, you produce it, you pipe it, you liquefy it, and then you put it on a ship and you transport it around the world and you can get that gas to Europe and to India with greater than 40% fewer life cycle emissions than getting the same gas just piped from Russia. From Russia, So 40%. you're absolutely right, yes. Yeah. And greater than 18, 18 times, Venezuela's 18 times higher in terms of pollution, including air, than U.S. energy production. Isn't that true as that, well? That's absolutely correct. Okay. And, and we're world leaders in environmental protection. But that never gets out, you know, when they come after the energy sector. Oh, you guys are horrible. We're the leader in the world, aren't we? Yes, we okay, are. Let we me, absolutely let me should. Show, let me show you another uh, chart that's really important. I bring this out a lot. By the way, all the national medias fact check this because they hate it, but it happens to be true, and they, even they have to admit it's true. So this is a chart of CO2 emissions since 2005, okay? That's the United States. We've reduced CO2 emissions by almost 15%, okay? There's China, there's India through the roof, okay? Why do you think that happened? It, it, it's technology and it's environmental technology leadership. Technology and it's also the revolution in the production of natural gas in America, correct? Yes. Um, Mr. Isaac, the Texas Public Policy Foundation has received funding from the fossil fuel billionaire Coke operation from ExxonMobil, Chevron, ConocoPhillips, Devon Energy, and other fossil fuel companies. Is that correct? Uh, if that's public knowledge, that's, I don't keep track of who our donors are, but I know that we're supported by over close to 10,000 people across the United States that believe in liberty, free enterprise, and personal responsibility and support Here's our work. Here's what uh, TPPF's former vice president said about the organization producing industry-friendly research and advocacy in exchange for donations from industries that would financially benefit from the industry-friendly policies. Um, the fundraising involved approaching corporations, wealthy businessmen, and corporate-funded foundations with a pitch described as, and I quote, we think this is beneficial to your industry. 
and would you consider providing us with a nonprofit contribution? Here's the timeline for the completion of the research. The parameters of the research are this. We expect it result in some savings or outsourcing, end quote. I'd like to put this article from the Texas Observer into the record without objection. Without objection. Mr. Isaac, in 2020, the most recent year for which we have your uh, T TPPF 990 form, uh, TPF, TPPF reported receiving over $17 million in donations, correct? That's correct. It's my How understanding much of that well. comes from entities connected to the fossil fuel industry? I'm not advised. You really don't know that that funding comes from the fossil fuel industry? I, I can say it comes 100% from people that benefit from fossil fuels. <laughs> Yeah, I bet they do. Actually, the foundation's absolutely proud of our, our country and the clean air that we have, the safest. We're number one when it comes to access to clean and safe drinking water. There's almost a billion people on the face of the earth that have no access to electricity. Yeah, we, would we love keep to trying to improve that, and industry keeps trying to oppose us, and you work for the industry.